All right, guys, how's it going? I'm Duncan C75, and I'm here with a video review on NHL 14 the demo. Now, um, it's not live commentary because while I was playing, you know, messages here and there, and blah 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 blah, and things going on here and all that. So, I'm just gonna do a basic review, like I said, of the game, non live commentary. As the game goes, you know, I'll explain the things that I like and I don't like about the game. Uh, an overview of uh, also NHL, NHL 94 20th anniversary. Uh, I'll also put in a little, I'll uh, talk a bit about the uh, Hut Hockey Ultimate Team. And yeah, well, anyways, there's also free skate mode. So, first, uh, third pier, Chicago with a 1 0 uh, lead here. Uh, basically, the game feels great. It's very fluid. You know, you move around nicely. Um, but as we all know, you know, it's not the final product. And here, this, this is one thing. You saw the body check I just did. Um, you see, it forced me to get into a fight. Now, I don't mind the new fighting engine. The, the fighting engine here is amazing. I love this. But the enforcer system where... Just because I had the guy and Shara doesn't like it and I have to get into a fight with him where I don't have the option. That I'm not crazy about. I mean, I'll give you an example, you know. Clutch game, down 2-1. to one. You're Jonathan Taves. You, 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 you big body check on uh, Marchand. And then Shara decides to skate to you. And the computer forces you to get into a fight. Now, I'm leading. I'm losing 2-1. And I want to keep Jonathan Taves on the ice. I don't want to lose him because... The computer decides that I have to get into a fight with Chera. That's bullshit. I mean, I'd rather lose a guy like, I don't know, let's say, uh, well, there's a guy called LeBlanc the Black House. I'd rather lose him, you know, in a fight to Jonathan Taves, you know, which is total bullshit. So, you see, here, there's another thing. You see, bang. I get into a fight. Why? Because I hit, I, I body checked him cleanly, but boy, it's the new enforcer system, you know. You have to get into it. That, that's bullshit. It, that should be my choice to get into a fight. And who gets into a fight, you know? Seabrook, I mean, I know he he can he will get into a, scra a scrap every now and then. But that should be up to you to decide. At what moment of the game when it's, you know, important to have players like that on the ice. And at what moments of the game, you know, you can afford to lose a guy like that on the ice, you know? So, another thing is, you see, celebrations when you win a fight. Just like when you score goals. Press circle, triangle, square, uh, or X. <coughs> There's uh, user celebrations for um, when you win fights. But I like the new fighting engine though. It's amazing. Overall, uh, like I said, you know, it's a demo. It's not going to be the final product. Hopefully EA will listen to our input on this game, you know. They will uh, hear us out and say what we like and what we don't like. What has to be changed and stuff like that. I doubt it's going to happen. But as we all know. Between the demo and when the game comes out, it's not always the same. In any case, you see there again, bang. Jonathan Taves versus Lucic. Now, <laughs> I'm going to beat the living shit out of him. I mean, the new if you know how to do it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun fighting against other people, you know. I just love that new fighting system. It's sick. Some of us just can give that one, one, one hard punch and the guy goes straight down to the ice. Anyways, so overall, my impression of the game is I love it. It looks better than 13 for now. But, I mean, we all know that's not the only mode. I mean, this is just like... This is offline single-player mode, you know, against CPU. Uh, what is it going to be like against uh, players, you know? Glitch goals and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, the more to come, you know. We're going to get a real... Outlook of the game once we, you know, once we start playing online and all that stuff. Now, 20th anniversary mode. I love it. I love it. It's just, it's just too bad that there's no online mode. I mean, seriously. Um, what was it? Ram was saying, we want to bring back people to the rules where, like, they were sitting together uh, in a couch playing all together. It's like, well, yeah, but people don't always have time for that. So that's why there's online, you know, you, you tall fucking jackass. Um... I'll have friends coming over every now and then, you know. Yeah, we'll play hockey. And yeah, 20th anniversary is, is a good idea. But I mean, it just would have been so much sweeter 
if they would have made it online. I mean, that, that mode is amazing. It's anything goes. It's it's basically like NHL Arcade 3-on-3. Three three. The only thing is that you have life-size rink. You have old-school 94 uh, music and uh, looks and stuff like that. And it's 5-on-5, uh, five five, you know. Well, 6-on-6 six six with the goalies. But anyways, you know what I mean. And anything goes. No offsides. Uh, you crash into the goalie and, he, you know, the goal still goes in. And there's no interference calls. There's no penalties, you know. It's like anything goes. Just like NHL Arcade 3-on-3. Uh, three three, the only thing is that it's real life. Uh, there's one thing I didn't notice, though, is that when you play NHL 94 20th Anniversary, um, you can do the Deeks. As much as you can do the new ones from 2014 as you can do the old ones from 2013. Just like I just did here. Uh, the old Deeks of 2013 and before are still in the game. And the one-touch Deeks, of course, of 2014 are there too. So people like the old school Deeks, you still can do them. And people who prefer the new uh, Deeks from 2014 can use them. Or if you can, like, you know, get used to the ones of 2014 uh, and, like, mix them up, you know, who knows. Here I went manual goalie and I wanted to do a flying uh, poke check, but I totally missed it. All right, guys. So, like I said, I love 20th anniversary mode. Uh, but the only thing is that they have, and I don't think it's going to happen. But I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I want it to go online. That would be sick, you know. Anything goes. Um, five versus five. Uh, five versus five. I, I wouldn't put goalies, my uh, human goalies, in there. I, I leave that to the computer, you know. But 5 versus 5 online, uh, 20th anniversary mode, that would be s sick. Uh, bodies flying all over the place. And uh, there's also the new fighting engine in uh, 20th anniversary mode. So, yeah. Um, now, Hockey Ultimate Team. The <laughs> and this is where I'm going to go like, fuck man. I hate it. Uh, I hate it for the simple fact that I opened the pack. Now, the part that sucks is that I didn't do it live, okay? But I know that in the pack I got... I have Malkin, I have Marty St. Louis, I have Camilleri, I have Logan Couture, I have Brent Seabrook, you know. I have a bunch of two, top two liners and then bottom two liners and my goalie is Sergey Bobrovsky. Playing my first game, you know, you only play third period, uh, third periods, okay. First game, I have like, I don't know, my two top lines are amazing and my two bottom lines with my defensive pairings are pretty good, you know. I'm playing the Halifax Moose Heads. The CHL champions, Memorial Cup champions, okay? What the fuck, man? I get, I don't know how many shots on goal, and Fukal just saves them all. It's like, what the hell? That's the thing I hate about Hulk, a Hockey Ultimate Team. It is just not realistic. Just like that's offline. When you play online, you're going to have this all star team with the, you know, sick players. And you're going to play this guy that has, you know, pretty good players, average, you know. And he plays as good as you do, and he's going to end up winning. Like, Hockey Ultimate Team is just bullshit. As much online as it is offline, um, the overalls and all that are not respected like they are in other game modes, you know. Hockey Ultimate Team is bullshit. It's just eSport. As, you know, you're like, oh, well, maybe my team's not good enough, so I have to buy a pack, you know, to get more players or more consumables and blah, blah, blah. It's just EA Sports making you buy more packs. It's just... Hockey Ultimate Team is about money. That's what it is, you know. It's EA Sports ripping you off. It's bullshit. It is not constant. Guys, I will be doing Hockey Ultimate Team. I will be doing pack openings, trade days. When it comes to offline and online, I don't know. I, I have my doubts about it. Doing online and offline games. Well, I mean, screw offline, offline games. Uh, yeah, offline games. But online games, yet alone, it's still bullshit, you know. Look at that. What is this? The fourth fight in the third period. That's that's the, the thing. That new... Uh, too many fights. That new uh, enforcer system. There's just going to be way too many fights. It's bullshit. You know? They, they, they have to, to, to fix... You know? Get a guy that... You, you see Seabrook again. Get a guy that, you know... You, you can live without, you know, on the ice for a few minutes. Fine. Seabrook second time in the, in the third period. That guy... He's a clutch defenseman. I think he has an 89 overall, you know? So, anyways... So, like I was saying, Hockey Ultimate Team, ah, pack openings anytime. I will do some at least twice a week, especially the first month. I'll be buying loads of packs. I'll be doing loads of videos of pack openings, you know, uh, because, you know, you want to build the collection. You want to build the team, you know, 
And you're going to say, why, why would you want to build a team when you're not going to play? I am going to play. I am going to try it. But I'm almost certain that it's going to like get me so freaking mad that I'm going to do like last year, you know. Stop. And last year, the reason why I stopped is because my wins were counting as losses and I wasn't getting my pucks, you know. NHL 13 was a total, you know, they just, just messed it up. And I'm afraid Hockey Ultimate Team is going to be another mess up again this year, you know. Anyways, uh, listen, NHL 14 overall right now, when we look at the demo, it's not a huge step forward compared to NHL 13. Now, I am disappointed that NHL 14 is not going into next generation platforms. That being said, expectations for NHL 15 are going to be humongous. They are going to be huge. They, they, they're going to have to, like, overhaul this game when it comes to presentation and blah, blah, blah. We're, we're not going to keep, you know... Coming into the rink with the same goddamn presentation. They're going to have to like, you know, do a major overhaul at EA. And I'm expecting big things. I mean, I know a few friends that won't get the PS4 until next August. Because they're only going to get it for NHL. Now, me, myself, um, I have several games I'm looking forward to, to play on PS4. And I am going to get um, the PS4 when it comes out uh, November 15th. That, by the way, that news came out today. Uh, November 15th in North America, uh, PS4 coming out, I already, I already reserved mine, and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it, you know. But, uh, of course, I'm going to keep doing uh, videos on uh, NHL uh, 14 for PS3, since it's not crossing over to new generation platforms. And um, there's a few more games that are, not that are not going to be crossing over right away either. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, if I'm not mistaken, is going to stay on PS3. They're not going to cross over to PS4. I don't think so. And I am going to buy that game. So I'm going to do videos of that, you know. Especially the online mode. I saw that and it looks sick. Anyways, so let's let's stick to the subject here. Um, yeah, NHL 94, uh, 14, sorry. Uh, was I saying 94 the whole time? Anyways, NHL 14 is not a huge step forward, but um, one thing I didn't notice is that when you have the puck and you have a good puck control, you don't lose it as easily as you used to. But mind you, this is offline gaming, you know. Uh, when it comes to online, who knows what's going to happen. Like I said, we're going to be able to judge this game once, you know, we start playing online. Look, look, look at this. This is NHL 94. The game is so fast. Look at that. The acceleration. The hitting is intense. Uh, now, I didn't get into any fights in this game. But uh, you can get into fights in this one. Although in the original nine, <laughs> the original 94 on Genesis. Because I used to play it on Genesis. Um, there was no fighting in NHL 94 if I remember well. Anyways. I think the only thing you could do is like pop a player on the ice and like make him bleed. Yeah, so um, Hockey Ultimate Team, we'll see. NHL 94 20th Anniversary Mode, I love. They just have to bring it online. And uh, when I played my game, uh, Boston Chicago there, I liked it. The only thing, like I said, I knew I liked the new fighting system. I'm not crazy about the Enforcer Mode. Hopefully, they're going to fix that when NHL 14 comes out on... September the 10th and yeah guys well you know uh, the, the other thing I'm also looking forward to see uh, to, is uh, the new be a pro where you know uh, you're gonna have like they're gonna ask you questions and then you're gonna have be able to pick uh, four answers and whatever your answer is gonna have like an effect on your uh, uh, certain skills that you have and blah 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 all that you know I will try it what I might be doing is that if it's good enough, I said I wouldn't be doing any be a pro videos. But what I might do is if it's good enough, I might do like, you know, um, videos once a week. You know, like I, I play uh, one month's time of uh, be a pro and then I do highlights, you know, uh, once a week. Something like that. I, I'll look into it. No promises for be a pro. We'll see how good it is. But like I said, you know, um... I will do videos for NHL 14, like I mentioned. Um, Hockey Ultimate Team. Pack openings, trade days, giveaways I will keep doing. Um, yeah. I'll also be doing EASHL, OTP. As to, you know, the usual. The thing is that since 
I started my channel last year in November. This year, I'm running, I'm running my channel right when NHL 14 is coming out. So uh, I'll be able to start EASHL uh, on time, just like everyone. I'll be doing OTP. Uh, when I do OTP, I'll be doing some scouting at the same time. See, you know, who really stands out in OTP games and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and you guys, uh, you remember playing uh, OTP? Before on NHL 13, you had to go through two, two screens. The first screen, everyone picking sides, you know, blah, 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 blah. People bitching at each other and whatever. And then the second screen is like, oh, who's going to get left wing, right wing, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's like, and then half of the time, you know, people would bail out and it's like the game wouldn't happen. Now, this year in NHL 14, uh, when, you pick, uh, when you pick a game and you get into the, like, um, the select screen... Um, right away when you get into the screen, it's like you can pick the side, and as soon as you pick your side, then the position is already there. So, uh, it's going to be a one screen thing. And if you get into that screen and you don't see your position available, you can leave it and go back to another screen. So, there's going to be much less people quitting and all that, and that's going to be more fun. So, I'm really looking forward to sit it and try OTP, and of course, looking forward to do uh, EASHL. All right, guys, well... Time's running out. Video's almost over. Uh, I did some recording of, a, like I said, a regular NHL 14 game and a NHL 94 20th anniversary. Uh, keeping, uh, counting days down, you know, NHL 14, just around the corner. I took an, uh, my day off from work so I could actually get a hold of it and come back home at midnight, well, past midnight and start playing online, you know. Um, normally I work on Monday evenings and it's coming out like uh, at midnight on Tuesday. So I took off so I can come back home, get my hockey ultimate team ready and start opening packs. Well, first, before I start opening packs, I'll, I'll be doing some online gaming, that's for sure. And then on Tuesday, I'll par probably start doing videos of uh, pack openings and get ready uh, for trade days and some giveaways. But guys, um... I'll give you some more info when uh, NHL 14 does come out for good. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Duncan C75 signing out, saying thanks for watching. Uh, I'm really looking forward to NHL 14 coming out. I'm anxious. I feel like a little kid, you know. <laughs> And hopefully uh, the product we're going to get is going to be better than last year. So I'm going to be honest with you. NHL 13 for me was most probably my worst experience. But at the same time... It is the game that helped me launch my YouTube channel and we're looking forward to, uh, you know, uh, more videos and more subscribers and getting the, ch the channel even bigger and better, especially with the PS4 coming out and new generation games. All right, guys. So have a nice evening. Take care. Uh, don't forget to um, subscri subscribe to my channel, like and comment on my videos, check out my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Take care. Enjoy the demo for now. And I'll see you guys back when NHL 14 comes out for good. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.